everyone what is good welcome back to the channel this is silver hyena and for today's video this is a continue continuation continuing eh, whatever anyways um there is a part one to this particular video where i test out these incredibly unique uh, things eh. There I go, probably dropping the unique things. Can I just blame the fact that I burnt my tongue on some pizza rolls earlier today? I know it has nothing to do with this, but I'm gonna blame them anyway. Yeah, that sounds easy. Anyways, this... Th these... They're, they're called Artist Mixed Media Gel Sticks. And they are one of the most fascinating things I have ever used. Oh, by the way. I think I forgot to share this, but look, they expand. So they're kind of like those Crayola twistables, but better. These things are just, mm. I am really, really excited to try these out. So among some other things that I got before starting this video, I got just a regular old well palette that you can get for dirt cheap because like these are water soluble so I do want to see how well these will work like if you just kind of dilute it and use it as watercolor I've got my drawing here already well like you know if these eraser crumbs would finally just all go away go away eraser crumbs nobody wants you yeah, I did the, the line art off camera just because I really wanted to just get into these and I'm probably getting way too excited. So, yeah, let's just dive right in. Okay, now then, the hard part is going to be deciding where exactly I want to start because really it's like I've got so many wonderful colors. I mean, like, it's like, I want to use them all, but I'm just not sure if that's possible. Is it possible? Eh, maybe. Yeah, because it's like, yeah, especially like the bright colors. I know, this thing is going to be looking like a Neopet by the time I'm done with it, but hey, who cares, right? All right, so I'm just getting my palette ready. I got myself my handy little eyedropper. <laughs> I'm just getting a few of these set up for my grand experiment. We'll see if I regret this. Okay, so hard part is picking the base color. <sighs> Why do I have to choose? Okay, I think I finally figured it out. I think I want to lean towards a pink griffin. Okay, well here, let's see here. Okay, so just dipping it in the water doesn't really do much. So I'm gonna try just... Oh, there we go. Just rub that all over the well. So I'm wondering if doing this is a good way to get, like, you know, just a nice light wash going. Let's get that all nice and mixed in there. Ooh, that's not a bad looking soft pink right there. And this is just my paper towel I use for cleaning up my messes. Okay, I might want some more pigment in there. Give me a minute. Okay, well, let's see how well this works. Okay, it's a little bit lighter than what I was hoping for, but it does work. 
Oh, there we go. It's getting a bit stronger now. Okay, yeah, look at that. That. That's one way to use them, I guess. Okay, so I'm not sure how much more I'll be able to drive this point home, but dang! These things are so much fun! They're surprisingly versatile. I'm also just so happy that my smear it in the well palette and turn it into watercolors technique worked. I find that this leads to an overall smoother color and blend, although it does make it more transparent, so keep that in mind. I mean, like in some ways, these these things, it's kind of like, well, well, it's like a crayon or drawing with lipstick. They can kind of go between like the, the opacity of gouache, which of course is really nice, lovely, and thick, or they can go transparent like watercolors. Now that I think about it, these things just get even more and more amazing even after the fact. Wow. So yeah, while putting the dry wax, uh, uh, gel, lipstick, the stuff. Yes. While putting the stuff down dry and adding water afterwards does work, the medium doesn't completely dissolve, which is a bit of a bummer, I've got to say. I think this would be better on a larger surface, perhaps? Hmm, maybe I should try out this theory. Post below if you want me to try doing a much larger piece with this stuff. Yeah, this, these things are a trip to use, I'm telling you, and I love every minute of it. Any way you choose to use these things, you're going to have a good time. The most interesting art supply in the world, perhaps? I don't know, but I can guarantee that you'll enjoy them. Seriously, if you were like me and had seen these things before but weren't sure if you should get them or not, stop humming and hawing, pick up a set, and try them out for yourself. I picked up this particular set for around $13 at Burlington, but I've seen similar sets at Michael's, along with even open stock options. So if you only want to get a couple to try out, you can buy these sorts of things individually. I just don't know if it's this exact brand or not. I'm just telling you what I happened to see at Michael's a while back. Or of course, there's always online. I've seen this exact same set on Amazon going for about $21 there, at the time of recording this video anyway. You know, sometimes prices go up, sometimes they go down. It's always nicer when they go down, but please bear with me. Now, when choosing the colors for this piece, I honestly think that I was subconsciously thinking about cotton candy. Oh my gosh, I love cotton candy. I mean, I know it's nothing more than just sugar and empty calories, but dang, I can't get enough of that melt-in-your-mouth pink and blue fluff. Okay, I gotta ask, do you notice any difference in flavor between the colors of cotton candy? I don't care what the package says. For some reason, I always find that blue tastes better. Seriously, if it's blue, it always tastes better. I feel this way about things like slushies or sodas. I mean, like, have you ever had that Mountain Dew Baja Blast? Kind of like this greenish blue, but mm, that is so good. Better than regular Mountain Dew, I'm telling you. Oh, wait a minute. Where was I? Oh, yes. If you find that certain colors taste better than others, just it doesn't matter what the label says. It depends on what the color is. Just, just post your experiences with different things below because I'm just, I, I just want to know what you have to say. 
a am I just an oddball or are there other people who choose based off of color rather than what the actual flavor is? Okay, candy talk aside, I have always loved using pink and blue together, whether it's mostly pink with blue highlights or blue features or blue whatever, or mostly blue with pink accents. Accents, that's the word I was looking for earlier. Oy. I, I just love the combination. Not only because they go together well, but it also reminds me of said candy I was talking about earlier. <laughs> and I've got a major sweet tooth, I'm, I'm telling you. So overall, these things are just amazing. And I would gladly recommend them to anyone just because of the novelty and uniqueness alone. I mean, it, it, it's like coloring with lipstick. Who knew? Alrighty, so here we are. Um, I think next time I use these, I will definitely use watercolor paper because I think that this soaked through a little bit to the next page. Not too much, but eh, enough to notice. However, uh, long story short, too late, I know. These things were a ton of fun to use. Whether they're actually really Artist Mixed Media Gel Sticks, Funky Lipstick, Water Soluble Crayons, whatever you want to call these things. They're just fun. Yeah, I, I had so much fun working on this. I am really, really happy with how it turned out. I mean, these things were just... Mm. From an artistic media standpoint, yeah, sorry about that, my brother's doing something with his video games, he can never game quietly, I swear. Oy. I'm sorry you have to hear that. Anyways, with these things, from an artistic media and usability standpoint, I would say that I would probably give them a 7 out of 10 just because like they they like they don't have the smoothest blend in the water. However, if you put them in a palette first 
and then add water, then you get a nice watercolor-esque effect. But from a fun standpoint, like just how much fun it is to, to play around with them and just, just play around with them, 10 out of 10 recommend. So if you happen to find these gel art stick, crayon, lipstick, whatever things, consider picking up a set and trying them out for yourself. I do not think you will be disappointed at all. I am beyond happy that I picked these puppies up because, mmm, mmm, love them. Excuse me a minute while I go and um, ask my brother to kindly shut up. Okay, so that's taken care of anyways. Yeah, he always insists, I am not that loud. Yeah, dude, you are that loud. Post below, do you live with somebody who plays video games? And if you do, how loud do they get while playing them? I think my brother is in absolute denial. Anyways, I'm afraid that's all the time we have for today's video. If you enjoyed, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And while we're at it, why not check out my Instagram at Silver Hyena Art. There, I like to post works in progress, sneak peeks, and just other random little things. Oh yeah, completed pieces. I like that there's a little bit, some of everything on there art related. And I do not know why I feel the need to remove and adjust this. It's just a habit of mine. I don't know why I do it. <sighs> and with that being said, this is Silver Hyena signing off. Stay creative, everybody. <sighs> yeah, one of these days I just need to specifically record my brother so I can tell him, yes, you are this freaking loud. <sighs> Thank you for listening to my rant. Bye!